play to potential. Nugget. And and in the book, in a related context, you talk about the power of visualization as well. Yeah. Right. And you refer to the golfer Jack Nicklaus, and you sort of say that he was able to uh, recreate a successful experience in his mind before he played a shot. Talk to us a little bit about the parallel you see between a sportsman uh, or a sports person, rather, mm-hmm. uh, sort of using the power of visualization yep. to deliver that perfect shot, versus. Yep. Uh, you know, us using the highlight reel yeah. to, to visualize uh, the best self. There's two important ideas here. So the first really important idea is our brain gets stronger when we practice. And that, you know, that's just the notion of neuroplasticity, which at this point I think is a fact. <laughs> you know, in the book, I try to go through some of it, but it, it appears, for example, that when taxi drivers in London have to get the knowledge, their actual physical brain changes to allow that to, to allow that many streets to get into their brain. Wow. <laughs> and, and that's just really interesting and it's powerful and it's really important that we remember that the brain is just a muscle. And sometimes it doesn't seem like that, but the fact is the brain is just a muscle. And when you use it, it gets stronger. So that's a really important point. So you ask me a really good question, which is to kind of talk about the similarities and the differences between visualization and the, the highlight reel. Okay. So let's talk about how it's different and how it's the same. One way that it clearly is different is unlike athletes, we don't usually actually create films of our best moves. You know, we, we're not able to look at that perfect golf swing or that perfect kick where the ball just went into the net and over the goalie's head. So what we have to rely on instead are people's memories of how we made them feel, how we solved a problem, you know, what unique value we brought to the party. So that's one really important difference because that means we're dealing more with memories and words and less with, you know, video recordings. I think, I think that's worth putting out there. But I know that's a big difference, but a big similarity is trying to make yourself at your best salient. Like, so I recently did one of these podcasts with a coach who worked with gold medalists and silver medalists at at Olympic levels. He worked with some of the premier athletes in the world. And he says, what's so interesting is when we're on the outside of that, we look at those as the gold standard and we think, oh, they must be so confident. He said, in reality, they suffer an imposter syndrome just like we do because they too get there and think, I don't belong here. I'm not this good. I'm going to blow it. And what they do is they have to make salient the times that they were that good. They have to really bring forward in their brain almost as a confidence boost and also as a way of practicing. This is what you're capable of. Hmm. So it allows them to access that more immediately, more readily and so actually, wow, that's really an exciting point, actually, for me. You've, we've just got to the most important element. This isn't wishful thinking. This isn't, this isn't hoping of what I might achieve one day if I just wish hard. This is saying there have been times in my life when I have created an exceptional impact on other people. The question is, how can I get there more often? It's not saying I'm 24 hours a day. It doesn't even say seven days a week. It's just saying I am capable of that impact. I know it because these 20 people have written me memories of times I've done that for them. I can do that more often with intentionality. And Mm. I think right there, there's so many more things I could say about it, of course, but I actually think that right there should help even the business. Okay. When I was a cynic, that's one of the reasons why. I thought it was just wishful thinking. And what I've come to learn is the neuroplasticity to the brain says, what leaps into your brain about who you are? And if we can train the brain to dish up memories of what you're capable of, you're more likely to do that more often. 